Welcome back everybody, it's Destiny Genius here. In today's video, we've got the long-awaited return of the How To Do Key series. I'm looking at Thomas HD. It's a player I've wanted to look at for a long time now, and he finally had a solo tournament that we can look at. He did insanely well in terms of WKing in the opens, as you can see here. 40 Elims is one of the highest compared to like everyone else around him. Pretty sure it was the highest overall. And he also won the finals, which we're going to take a look at in some of these games here, with some pretty decent kills as well. Alright, let's get straight into this with game one from the opens. This whole wall replace sequence by Thomas HD was really good and efficient, so you guys should always be trying to do. So as he drops down here, you're going to see he swings as he's falling, so he catches this guy completely off guard. Then he two hits the wall by hitting the circle, and as he breaks the wall, you're going to see he doesn't pull down his wall straight away. Instead, he's going to go for the cone, which gets that centerpiece control, and then he gets the wall. Regardless if you get the wall or not, getting a cone in some of these boxes that you can do 100% of the time, even if you're on high ping, it's really good to do to get people out of boxes. But you can see here, when he gets that cone in the box, what happens to the other guy is he gets this really awkward bump up animation where he gets bumped up by the cone, and this allows Tom to you to get a free shot just like that. And immediately as he does this from this bottom left peak here on the right peak, he swaps up the angle and does a top right edit, which means that this guy's crosshair blows and it's completely messed up. He's aiming where the edit just came from, as you can see. Thomas H.G. swaps up the angle, gets a free shot without taking any damage. And at this point here, he forces his way in by placing a stair over the back of his head as his try goes to the timing shot and he gets a very free kill. Might seem like a very simple sequence, but just doing all those things in motion, especially dropping down and replacing walls you drop, is so effective. If you guys haven't seen the three levels video previously in this week, make sure to go watch it. But this is one of the best things you can do for W King mid game and opens. It's just finding someone that's bad, boxed on a hill or something, early zones, and then a cannon strands them. Just mark them, line up with the cannon, put yourself into the cannon with right click, and you're gonna go straight into their box. And if they're in that box, or even around the back of it a lot of the times, you're gonna get 100 damage just like this. You're gonna break all their builds and get a free kill. Very effective to do. This is one of the best tips I can give you guys for fighting people, especially when they're one of those people that like really makes fast plays and like reactionary plays like editing a lot of the time, is whenever you get like damage like this, or whenever you're just approaching on a wall, instead of trying to do something like pressure of an SMG, or actually start pickaxing or replacing their wall, instead just do what Thomas does here. Approach from a little bit further away so you can't really get pieced up just like this, and just stand there with your pump. I cannot tell you guys how many times you'll get a free shot on someone who just edits instantly. This works really well in Arena, especially first game of cash cats for people are fighting quite quickly. You can see he has a free tag in like that, and after this, he stops doing that, because obviously the guy's not going to edit while he's low, and instead he just constantly SMG pressures. He just sprays through the SMG trying to get some bleed through, and the guy in it panic pants away, and he gets a free kill out there. This right here is just a really smart play that Thomas HD does. He baits that he's disengaging from a fight, so you can see no there's somebody back in all those boxes so he baits the fact that he's running away and he also baits his pickaxe thing on the tree he's not actually hit the tree at all he's just waiting for this guy to edit and the thing is people when they're trying to get a shot on you they're always going to wait for you to farm because they know you're like, kind of stuck in that animation where you can't do anything so he baits that pickaxe swing immediately pulls out his mythic orb gets a massive beam on the guy and then just closes in and gets a simple wall replace again though he does the thing that i said in the first part of this video which is as he breaks it as you can see here gets the cone slide in does the top right and peak and gets a very free kill this fight is a perfect example of what you should be doing Doing when you get someone low and you're trying to pressure them. I know you guys have this situation happen in a cash cut the whole time where you're trying to W key, trying to end a fight quickly, and then the guy ends up just reboxing, making loads of space, and they've got chug splashes or something, and they heal up straight away. Look what Thomas H. She does it. First of all, gets a nice little bit of damage on this guy, almost gets his bottom piece on them as he exits out the box here. But look what he does. He immediately reads what the opponent is doing. They're walking around in a box like a little AI, trying to make some space, and they're trying to heal at the same time. There is nothing going on in this guy's head in terms of getting counter damage or trying to hold the wall or even just trying to get like a little bit of shot in to actually like pressure Thomas HD off. Instead, Thomas HD realizes this and he goes straight through the wall without even replacing it. I know you guys in that situation replace it and try to get a shot and that's why you'd miss out on this shot right here. Now he's got 120 damage on the guy and instead of going for replaces again, he just realizes, okay, there's, there's no way this guy is trying to edit on me when he's this low. Instead, he's just going to walk through all of the walls gets the extended wall right there, gets the cone in, gets a nice little pickaxe, and gets a very free kill. The guy only looked for a shot in that entire sequence when he finally had his wall replaced and a cone in his box, then he looked for a shot. But at that point, Thomas actually did a really good job of pressuring him just by using his pickaxe and getting close and getting into his box straight away. This is something I talked about absolutely ages ago in the Mitra and Kiriachi reviews at the start of the series, but trying to outplay your opponent in terms of damage and positioning at the start of the fight is very, very important. Pretty much every player in solo cash cups is running visual sound effects. So if you can capitalize on that by crouching up on people, sneaking, making no audio, just like he's doing here, you will be able to get massive amounts of beams and it's gonna be, allow you to finish your fights a lot quicker. Gets a nice double hit from above, gets the cone in the box and gets a very free kill on someone who's a stacked. Again, 
very simple stuff. Pr people pretty much rely on the visual audio and don't actually listen for any audio cues. And also they just have no awareness because the visual audio sort of carries them. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's a very good feature to have. But if you're aware that every single player is using visual audio, you can outplay them while using it as well. This is another example of really nice wall replacing mechanics here. So he gets this guy with a good bit of damage, tactical sprints towards him, which I think is very underrated for fighting. Just tactical sprinting straight into his box, getting another big amount of damage. And at this point he realizes he's gonna spam here. So look what he does. He jumps from the side onto the brick wall, which is kind of unexpected for someone to replace because obviously brick might seem like it's healthier than wood and wood's only two hit wherever you hit it. But if you hit brick in the crit spot, it's gonna break in two hits when it's freshly built. So that's what he does. He jumps to the side, gets one swing while he's starting to jump and then gets one swing on the way down on the crit spot of the wall, gets a floor below him and gets the wall replacement as well at the same time. There's a nice wide open edit, quite an awkward angle for this guy to even get a shot on him from as you can see. Trying to flip the ramp and then gets an insta kill. Again, I can't tell you how important it is to practice quickly replacing things. Replacing things in two hits while you're midair is so useful and you're gonna catch so many people off if you do it efficiently as well. This right here is a perfect, perfect example of what to do when you're getting pressured and you're on low HP and you're trying to play defensive. So you're gonna see here, this other guy starts me just coming over to him, starts war replacing him, trying to start a fight. And that's actually a really nice safe peek kit to get some free damage at the start. So you can see this guy hops on from the cone directly above his box. He's waiting for him to hop down as you can see there. Waits for him to hop down, resets this wall and very quickly goes to the side gets the side jump 300 pump and at this point he does have all the advantages in the fight how he sorts of messed up and takes a load of damage from other people and he gets cracked and gets hit to extremely low hp i know in this situation you guys will probably panic however this is what you should do is spam rebox waste as much max as possible especially when you're not end game like this and it's quite laggy and stuff and you obviously don't want to waste the whole game for like a few points worth of kills you need to spam and make loads of boxes. So you can see here, it's hit down to the very low HP again. He reboxes out the side, makes a whole load of space, and he's basically just waiting until he can get a couple of seals off and get some minis down him so he can safely counter peak. So you can see here, as soon as the guy starts pressuring from above, he realizes, okay, what has my opponent done? They just used all their SMG ammo spraying me out. They're gonna start to reload. And they've also overcommitted and come into my builds at this point. So you're gonna see here, immediately realizes where he is, he's reloading, jumps straight down and gets a very free pump shot, just like that. Here's how Thomas HG actually outplays Reason early on in the game here. So you can see, just get initial damage advantage with a 60 tag right there. And then he immediately starts ramping over and he wants to pressure as quick as possible. Again, just uses his SMG bleed through. And you can see, because of the fact he's a drum shotgun, he actually tries to play for this by approaching kind of weirdly and awkwardly. This means that Reason really can't do anything in this situation apart from just make space to wait because he gets that ramp straight into the box. At this point, he tries to commit in the jump shotgun, have a Reason back sway, as you can see. And Reason actually does a good job of getting a free damage tag right there. However, Thomas realizes, okay, he's not going to aggro me straight away, so he tries to counter pressure and actually spray him back, which forces Reason to disengage a little bit. And you're going to see here, based on the way they're trading damage and the way that Reason is sort of backing up and trying to farm at the same time, he realizes, okay, he's not acting too aggressive at all. He's probably pretty shambles in terms of heals since he's not popped a big or anything. And he's also running low on mats based on the fact that he's running over this way. So what he does is tactical sprint around, as you can see here. And he's basically just going to tactical sprint and try to cut him off as much as possible and burn through his last remaining builds. Again, just reading how your opponent is playing in a fight is so important. It's gonna to out outplay them a lot of the time here. Just simply realizing the fact that Reason's running low on mats, he gets a very free kill here just by burning through just like that. Then he hits the round peak with the jump shotgun and he gets a very simple kill. This next fight shows a lot of really high level elite things that Thomas's H2 is doing while in high low. So you can see here, this other guy's over committing. He's got a damage advantage off the start. He's gonna over commit into the box and Thomas actually needs to get damage straight away. So what he does is bait the fact that he's gonna stay in the box, make a box backwards, as you can see here, then set up a top round peak. So when the guy jumps straight in like this, he gets a 300 tag, tries to zip wire through him, but doesn't get anything done from it. Now that he's got the other guy low HP and he's actually just trying to hunt him down, you're gonna see here, he does some very, very simple things. Instead of just approaching on the wall, and trying to do his normal cone replace instead he goes underneath places the cone gets the wall replaced the other guy gets the ramp off straight away and you can see here he doesn't slow down he could take the time to pop minis or try to pop a big or something but that's just going to make the fight longer and drawn out he's another one to play in the storm as well so instead he's going to immediately look for some more edits he misses his first pump shot the entire time i've been watching so far by the way and then immediately keeps on looking for pressure sets up from his really nice right hand peaks like the arkham wall replace tries to go for the wall replace doesn't get it and instead just waits for the shotgun out again very simple stuff just waiting your shotgun out and out damages the guy 
at the end there. This is a really simple refresh that Thomas HG gets on 50 zone and he actually does it at the perfect time here. So you're gonna see what he's gonna go ahead and do is wait for zone for first moving to actually show up. So this is basically the point in the game where everyone is gonna check the map and figure out how they're gonna do first moving or how they're gonna rotate it. And they sort of look at the elevation changes and everything like that. I'm sure you guys are aware of this. And then as soon as that point shows up, what he's gonna do is actually go ahead and edit his cone out, edit his wall out as well so it's not connected to anything. Place a cone down and he gets a very free refresh on eye drop who's literally just staring at his map, not doing anything at this point. 